So, gentlemen, here you are, out having a stroll in the city streets. Well, which isn't the greatest idea. I mean, it's hot and there's capulets around. And if you run into them, you might get into a fight. That's right. He should talk. Benvolio's the kind of guy that walks into a bar and slaps his sword on the table and says, Boy, I hope I have no need of thee. And by the time he's done with his second drink, he's waving it in front of the bartender, ready to pick a fight with him. Or I'm like that. Are you kidding me? He's as hot as any hothead in Italy. Just as soon to get angry as you look at him. As soon moved to be moody, and as soon moody to be moved. Exactly. Yeah, well, so? If there were two Benvolios, pretty soon there wouldn't be any, because they'd kill each other. He just as soon get into a fight with somebody who has one whisker more, or one whisker less than he has. You pick a fight with somebody for cracking nuts, if only because the nuts were the same color as your eyes. You should talk. I mean, if I pick fights as easily as you do, I, I couldn't get life insurance that lasts more than an hour and a half. Well, <laughs> gentlemen, it's funny that you should be talking about picking fights, because it's at this time that Tybalt shows up. So? Well, Tybalt says that he wants to have a word with you. A word? How about a word and a blow to the head? And then he accuses you of hanging out with Romeo. Hanging out? What, like we're trying to start a band or something? I'll make some noise with my sword. Oh, come on. I mean, we're in the streets. I mean, can we go somewhere private or, you know, talk it out like men? Or just leave? I mean, we shouldn't be doing this with people watching. People have eyes. So let them look. I'm not going anywhere. Well, it's right at this moment that Romeo shows up. And that's who Tybalt's been looking for. He's been looking for Romeo? I told you. You challenge him to a duel. So what happens next? Well, he calls Romeo a villain. That's bad, right? Yeah, I mean, that's like loser or, or lowlife. I mean, you shouldn't be calling people that, especially us. So does Romeo draw? Well, no, actually. Romeo tells Tybalt that he loves him, that Romeo's not a villain, and that he's gotta go. What? That's what he says. But Tybalt won't let him leave. He says Romeo has done him wrong, and that it's time to fight it out. Okay, so... Finally, they fight. Well, actually, no. Romeo says he hasn't done him wrong, that he loves him more than he could understand, and that he'll eventually understand the reason why. He says he loves the name of Capulet more dearly than his own. <laughs> what the? I'm... Oh, calm, dishonorable, vile submission. That's what I was going to say. You don't approve of Romeo's peacemaking. Hardly. He loves Tybalt. This guy's insane. And so uh, I guess it's my turn. Will the rat catcher walk with me? Uh, walk with you? I'm willing to take one of the nine lives of this king of cats. You want to fight with him? Fight? It's more like a good beating. If taking one of his lives doesn't work, I'll take the other eight too. Well, in fact, he draws, and you two go at it. And? I'm sure he fights with all his technical passado and punta reversal and crap, but... Well, so you two go around for a bit, but Romeo's pretty upset. He doesn't want either of you to get hurt. And he also doesn't want you to upset the prince with fighting in the street. You remember that the prince has passed a law against fighting in the street. Yeah, whatever. So what happens? Well, so, sorry to say, but Romeo steps in between you to break it up. And then Tybalt reaches his sword under Romeo's arm and stabs you. Stabs me. Are you okay? What? I'm hurt. Oh dear. Uh, Is it bad? A plague on both these houses. Because of the feud, you mean? I'm sped. Sped? Uh, like, finished. Um, I'm, I'm finished. Could we get some help? Did uh, I not hit him at all? Not one blow landed. How, how bad is it, Mercutio? I have a scratch from a cat. This might be all it takes. I need a doctor. Uh, yes, we're, they're working on it. It's pretty bad, huh? No, not bad at all. Not so deep as a well, or so wide as a church door, but it's enough. Ask for me tomorrow and you'll find me a grave man. Oh dear, do you mean, are you- Curse these houses, unbelievable, a dog. A rat, a mouse, a cat to scratch a man to death. To lose to that guy. Do you see the stuff he wears? Why the devil did Romeo come between us? I think he was just trying to help. To help? You call that help? 
a plague on both the houses. I need to go inside. I'm spit. They have made worms made of me. I'm done for. Damn this feud. Could we get a little help? 